one special event ends but don't worry another one begins what's up guys hope you are safe and welcome to the first installment of my new special event and if you're asking yourself what is a special event well during a month i look at one movie per week that has the same topic last month was movies set in 2020 but made earlier and this month is hood movies one of my favorite genres by the by i'm valentine singleton the movie guy and let's get this special event started with boys in the hood Trey Styles is a bright kid with a bad temper. He gets involved in a fight at school and his mother has had enough. She sends him to live with his father, Furious Styles. He is going to teach him how to be a man. Trey has two friends who are brothers, Ricky and Doughboy. Doughboy gets caught shoplifting one day and gets sent to jail. Some years later he returns. This movie proceeds to approach themes like race, violence and aspirations. This is the first big movie that kickstarted this genre of hood movies. It was a phenomenon when it was released and to this day it still is one hell of a watch. It deserves the recognition of being a pioneer movie. This movie is trying to create a certain feeling and it succeeds. You can feel through this movie that the area that they live in is hostile. Shootings, breaking and entering, drinking, fantasizing about shooting, drugs, helicopters, constantly in the air supervising. This is not a safe place and the movie portrays that perfectly. The story is very much engaging. This was my second watch of this movie in just a couple of months and I was still intrigued. The most engaging part of the story for me was Rick's story, although all of the three characters' paths, with the characters being Trey, Doughboy and Ricky, lead to the same direction. Rick's side of wanting to make it out through his talent at football is inspiring. The characters are also very well built. I like the transformation of Doughboy from a little fat kid to, well, Ice Cube. I think that's the reason why I like this character so much, because Ice Cube did a phenomenal job of playing Darren here. With him coming from the hood, it was a safe bet that he would be great in this movie. I also love Furious, played brilliantly by Lawrence Fishburne. This guy was a fountain of wisdom. Most of his sentences were great quotes that you could live by or believe in. All of the characters I feel played brilliantly here, fantastic job all around. It's Trey who I didn't like. For a majority of the part, he was only interested in getting laid. It didn't help that Cuba Gooding Jr., who portrays him, definitely doesn't pass as a teen. Just look at his forehead. It's not that he's a bad character, he just gets outshined by the others. I also like the little nod to Stand By Me. In the section where the characters are still kids, Chris asks them if they want to see a dead body. And also the finale is built in a very much Stand By Me fashion. It's time for me to drop some knowledge. In order to achieve realism, the director John Singleton didn't tell the actors and actresses when shots were going to be fired. Their reaction was real. Ice Cube owns the ghost Chevrolet Impala that his character drives in a movie. And Will Smith was first considered for the role of Trey Styles, but he refused due to his commitment to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I'm gonna start off by praising every actor that played in this movie, they were fantastic, each and every one of them. Despite looking way older than a teen, Cuba Gooding Jr. was on point as Trey Styles. Lawrence Fishburne had the role of his career here, he played Furious Styles, and he was really good. Ice Cube made his theatrical debut in this movie, he played Doughboy, and he was the standout performer for me, he brought the character of Doughboy to life. There are two scenes that I want to talk about, both of them from pretty early on. Number one, when Trey was little, a man entered their house through a window and he was going to steal from them. Furious woke up, grabbed his gun and fired at the intruder who managed to escape. An hour later, the cops finally arrive on the scene and there is this black cop who acts very superior to Furious. He wishes that Furious would have killed the intruder. He was very mean towards black people, to which Furious calls him his brother. The cop was clearly hurt by this remark and he deserved it, he was nasty. And number two, the memorable scene from this one is the fishing trip when Trey was still very young. I would have loved to pick a scene closer to the end, but I don't want to spoil anything. In this scene, Furious talks to his son about sex and it produces one great quote, basically saying that only a real man can raise their children. And I guess that makes Furious a real man, because he has raised his son and raised him incredibly well, with Trey being very different than other youngsters from the hood. Heartfelt story, likable characters, an important plot and message, and entertaining. This movie has it all. The few problems that this movie has don't break the viewing experience. 
For my alternative pick, I choose Menace to Society, another movie that is cited as one of the best of this genre. It's about a hustler who's trying to escape to a better life. So, my rating for Boys in the Hood is 4 stars.